is this seat taken? Thank you. I'll just be quick. I needed to sit for a bit while I wait for some friends. <laughs> you wouldn't believe. I've been standing there for hours, I think. My legs are killing me. I almost believe they ditched me here, too. Oh no, <laughs> I'm not from here. I'm traveling with my mates from uni. We just graduated from a medical program, so we're taking a bit of a holiday to celebrate. I studied neurology. It's quite a difficult field. I'm surprised they let me graduate, honestly. I barely made it out, actually. I was originally there to study surgery before I changed programs and almost ruined my own life. I felt like it didn't suit me anymore. I wanted to branch out to something else which felt right, so I went for neurology. It's a weird choice, but I'm happy I made it. <laughs> yes, even though I almost smashed my chances of graduating. God's will I made it. Oh, I'm Niven Scott. Pleased to meet you. You are? Excuse me? Uh, no, I don't think we've met before. I'm pretty good with faces and I don't remember yours. W what? <laughs> I... <laughs> oh, you're, you're, you're pretty walled. I... Oh, we're in a public space and you're saying all those things like it's nothing. Well, I... Yeah, no, I've been to parties and such, but... Oh! <laughs> well, consider my leg thoroughly pulled. Do you usually throw strangers you meet for a loop like that? Oh, only the cute ones. Thank you. Oh, what brings you to Paris then? What do you do for work? I'm just curious. A stranger called me cute and I want to know a little bit more about them. Seems fair to me. Uh, my mates? Ugh, they were supposed to be here a while ago actually. I think they still might be a little hungover from last night. Oh yeah, uh, we were out looking for bars and we ended up hopping across a couple. No, I didn't drink much. I was the one driving last night. Well, I do suppose I have to be lucky since I got to talk to you. I assure you that you were much bolder in your flirting than I was. I heard no shame in anything you said. I suppose you're right about that. We only get one life, so we should try not to waste it like that. Well, sort of. I came on this trip because I thought I did deserve a reward for all that work I put in, and since my mates all said they'd help cover for it, I figured I could go along with them. No, I'm not really the kind of person who is usually up for stunts like this. I'm more of a small get-together than such. I'm definitely not the adventurous type. Not like this anyway, but I'm glad that I agreed to this. Because I got to meet someone as interesting as yourself. 
It's just a shame I hardly know anything about you. I would have liked to learn a little bit more about you before I had to leave. Yeah, it's actually my last day here. I fly back to the UK later tonight. I actually start working as a student doctor in a month or so when I get back. It is pretty exciting. I'm hoping it'll all go well and I won't fuck up something while I'm there. Thank you. Do you have any plans after this once in a lifetime meeting? So you're more of an in the moment person. You must live a very interesting life then. In that case, what's your newest whim of a plan then? Oh, really? Uh, no, no, I'm not opposed to that. I, I just, I don't know if I could, since I have to wait for my mates. I... I could text and tell them I'll just meet them. Are you staying somewhere close by? You're under arrest. I suggest you surrender now. You're a good shag, love, but not that good. Now turn yourself over. If you don't, then under the authority of the European Division of the Hunters and Controls Association, I will have the right to execute you for your crimes here and now as a fugitive of law. Have it your way. Come in. Operator. This is Agent Niven Valentine, reporting in. Yes, I can confirm the target has been taken care of. I have also extracted our asset, Peter. The rest of my squad recovered him while I was handling the telepath. He was under the influence of the telepath, so I assume that he will be pardoned for his affiliation with them. As for his... other actions with the girl, Clara, I'm requesting to scrub all information from the public record regarding his involvement with her. Peter is too fine a hunter to be weighed down by this. After we get him some rehabilitation and keep him in the office for some time, I am sure that he'll be ready to do field work again. Yes, understood. 
We're currently looking for Aiden Pollard. We haven't found him yet, but we assure you that once we do, we will confine him again. Understood, Operator. We'll scratch that and return with Peter to headquarters while the other team goes out to find Aiden. Agent Valentine out.